Yeah. Hard to beat a car. He's fast. He's good. He's professional. He's higher rated than everybody. He stacks paper to the ceiling, rides on 24 inch chrome. I, you know, I, it's hard to beat. Once again, you guys, um, this, this part of the stream it is sponsored by G Fuel. Uh, I will show this as well, of course, you guys. So make sure to use code, G, code Hikaru on the G Fuel website. You can get up to 30% off on various flavors. Use G Fuel. It'll fuel you up, keep you running through your streams, doing whatever you're trying to do. Keep those energy levels where they need to be. Yeah, there, there are more games, by the way. I'm going to play something slow this time. Slow. I should move my food out of the way so I don't like have to have mouse issues. I guess I'll let him take. Very dry opening. It's not actually wonderful. It was E5. I thought E6 was generally considered a little bit safer. But it's very slow. It's just going to be a very slow game. I made a king roll for the four months. Thank you so much, king roll. Appreciate it. I made a goody gumdrops for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, it goes A5. I can obviously play C4. I mean, I'm going to play H4. I don't know if it's the right move, but I assume you always want Bishop H3 at some point to activate scope. Now, I can play F4 here, which is also quite interesting. Probably it's not ideal, so I'm just going to go Knight F1. Really keep this very, very slow. <clears throat> Maybe I also have 93 at some moment, too. Okay, now he asked me to play. He is really asking me to play F4, but I still don't necessarily believe in it. So I think I'll just go Queen D2 and eat some more chicken while we wait for the next move. I could have played 93. Maybe 93 made sense, or I don't know. Mm-hmm. Go so here, rookie one, maybe. Okay, plays E4 are interesting. <clears throat> I was always wondering if you'd play E4 or not. I can play F4 if I want to. I think I will play it. So now if he takes, I take back. And he has problems on the diagonals long-term, I think. That's a safe primus so I'll take. Queen b6 is a logical good move, I think. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go here. Although I gave him bishop c5. I'm not so thrilled. But I guess I have knight f5 always. Take. I'm going to go knight f5 and try to... Once I get the knight to f5, I assume I have to be better here. <clears throat> I think for a long time, wonder, is he thinking he can play rookie 3? Or what is he thinking about here? A little bit perplexed. Does take okay, so I go here, of course. <clears throat> Actually, this is very dangerous. I, I also have a queen g4 here, too. Wait, if I trade and go queen g4, I have knight h6. Ooh, this looks really this might just be lost. Wait, how long? Wait a second, queen g7, rookie 7, and queen c8. It's just checkmate. He just can't take. And that should be game over. There we go. One up, one down. If Ikaru wins a shadow, will win the tournament. Well, no, because actually the first two rounds are the hardest. I play Renato right now, and then I also play um I play Renato, and if I win this, I'll have to play Bortnik. No guarantees whatsoever. I, I would say that if I win my first two, if I win the first two matches, then it's likely that um that in the, that I get a walkthrough or I get a push over to the to the uh to the semis. Okay, is Renato trolling here? Go h5. I'm going to try to play very 
fundamentally sound chess here. There's knight f2. I guess I can trade maybe. Go here and takes. Is e3 logical? I'm going to go queen e7 and just c6 consolidate everything. Knight h3, I assume, I assume knight h3 is just like, Renato, I don't know if Renato's tilted, but he's probably not happy with that previous game. So he's like, you know what, I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something more on the meme side this game and just try to play chess, which frankly makes a lot of sense. I, I totally understand it. I'm going to go c6. I don't need to. It's probably slow playing like this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Go here. <clears throat> I guess I'll go here and just bishop d7 maybe. And just castles. If e4, I always have d4 and some knight a4 business over here, so you can't really do that. Let's just play rookie. This is actually looking a lot like a game of 960 chess, or it was. Now it's just looking kind of standard. Plays e4. So on d4, he wants knight d1. But I'm actually not convinced that this is good for white. It doesn't feel good to me optically. I mean, it just, it feels iffy. Like, his knight on f2 is on f3 would be good, but he can't really get it there. And if I get, like, bishop e6, I don't know. It just, somehow the king feels very, feels very loose. I don't, I, I don't know. It's just an instinct thing, but it just, it doesn't feel right. I'm just going to scoot out of the way and go, like, here. <clears throat> and play bishop b4, maybe move i think i'm gonna go rook c8 though i'm just gonna try to reroute my knights and everything maybe c5 b5 at some point i think he's gonna have to go c4 or c3 he's, he's gonna plays b3 wow okay i'm a little surprised by that he's he, I, yeah he has to go c4 of course i can trade if i want to i don't necessarily want to trade at the same time i think it makes the most sense it's just okay i'm gonna move my knight here and play f6 just consolidate maybe knight c7 I have bishop b4, very tricky position. I'm going to go here and knight b5, maybe. Maybe bishop b4. Plays a4, is kind of I expected that. Bishop b4, queen d2 is not great for me. I think I'm just going to consolidate here. Makes sense. Just consolidate the chain. Goes knight c4. I guess I take. I mean, if it's a draw, it's a draw. But a draw is actually completely fine in my book here. Go here. Wait, whoops, I almost just blunder there. Wait, okay. Take, let's go here. Go here. I mean, I'm assuming my knight is better than his knight. If I get bishop c6 and rook d8, I find it hard to believe that there aren't going to be issues here. Go here. And maybe this, I should have gone to h8 probably. I can't really lose this, but the problem is I can't necessarily win this either. Four takes, six. I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's right, but let's see. King c7, king d6. Wonder. I'm wondering about this. Not sure what's happening here. King a3, I go knight c5, and then I think I'm winning. Okay, let's go here. I mean, he has c5, but I go b6. He doesn't play c5. I, I mean, I think I'm just... Okay, he does play c5. Let's go b6. Let's take. I'm going to run my king up and go knight b4. And, and the problem for white is that everything's actually on the dark squares here. Okay, knight c... He wants to go knight c4. That makes a lot of sense here. Um, that being said, this should be good for me. Let's go here. <clears throat> Wait, go here? Go here, king b4, and I'm going to win this game now. Because basically the problem for white is all his pawns. Look at these pawns. They're all in the white squares. Now I just take. I take a4. GG's. Adios, amigo. We get the win. Um, and we are going to move on to the second round. Thank you to LJ Chess for the 12. Thank you to MD for Prez for the prime and Odessa Raider for the prime. So we win this match 2-0. Okay, he's going to he's gonna try to fight on, but I'm, I'm just going to not allow any, any nonsense. Um, I mean, everything wins here, but let's...
Just take and take. Let's go here. Right. Time to finish our chicken. Is, we're going to win this once. We're going to move on to play Bortnik, I think, in the next round. Okay, we got the dub. Win the match 2 0. Move on to round two. Yeah, we got the win. Okay, round two will be coming up. We will watch the remaining games. I think Bortnik already won. Let me open the sheet again. Let's see. Oh, yeah, Bortnik already won. Yeah, <laughs> Bortnik won like 10 years ago. Um, Bortnik already won. I think Bortnik got an easy first round pairing. Yeah, he, he got an easy pairing. There we go. So we're going to play Bortnik in the next round um, after winning 2-0 in this round. So we keep rolling along. Have I ever had Bojangles? Yeah, you mean the, you mean the, the, Carolina, the Carolina chain, right? Yeah, I have. Not in a long time, but I have had it. If I find you in the street, can I take a picture with you? Of course you can take a picture with me. It would be insane to not say that. Is this my all-time high for 2021? Very possibly this is my highest blitz rating, yeah. How do I feel right now? I feel pretty good, actually. I feel very good. Streaming from TSM today, eh? I've been streaming from TSM like uh I've been streaming from TSM I think every day for the last like three months or something. So yeah. It's not a novelty. So I guess we'll leave it on this match. This is the one match that's still going um as we keep moving forward with uh with our Arena Kings event today. Two screens. Hmm. Let's watch Jotham, sorry. Wait, Alham is beating Jotham? Wait, what? Wow, so Jotham is in a must-win situation here. Holy mackerel. Holy macaroni. This is a one and a half half for Alham, so Jotham has to win this game to force a, a tie break. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Pretty insane. Uh, it's pretty draw actually. It's a very dry position. No, Alham's playing great chess today. No doubt about it. Knight c3. Hmm. Hmm. 
very problematic for um for uh, Jossum here. I think Jossum's not going to win this game. I think killer power for seven months. Yeah, it's not happening for Jossum today. What is the second camp for? Four arms? No, it's for uh, anti cheat, basically. And once again, you guys, um, as I said earlier, um, this, the, the, the Arena King State, it is sponsored by G Fuel. Just again to show it. It's sponsored by G Fuel. Uh, they have a lot of mixes, a lot of formulas um, uh, to give you energy, give you that boost. Fuel up before your streams or before you're playing competitive chess tournaments, whatever it is. So make sure you use code Hikaru in the G Fuel store and you will, can get up to 30% off. So make sure to uh, use that code when you go and, buy, when you go and fuel up. But yeah, I feel like I'm playing good chess. I won't say I'm playing great chess, but I mean, I guess my rating's on the up. So if my rating's on the up, I mean, it has to be pretty good. I think that Jossum's getting some tricky tricks here with like E3, but I still think after King G1, it's probably still, it's still good enough. It goes B6. What is that? I know if I love B6. Okay, Rook at Rook E8. There's going to be, this is going to be a draw. Actually, the good thing for Elham, he's got a buck 22. I think you just check. Or you go rookie eight. I mean. <clears throat> you got to go to F6 here. Only try. All the, these, these, these both lose. This is a repetition. You got to go to F6. E8, rookie seven. This is rook d3. Yeah, now it's going to be a draw, you guys. Now this is a draw. Jossum can't win this if you take. It's a, it's a draw in game. Rook e1. And I mean, you go rook d2, but white just waits with king g2. Rook e1. Yeah, and you go like king g2 and rook e3. Because rook e3 or rook e4 actually even is good enough. Rook e3. Just rookie three is a draw. Yeah, I mean, I, I have a nice setup. Thank you so much. Okay, takes, takes. Rook B2. I mean, this is obviously a draw. Although, although Alham is making a bit of a mess out of this. It Wait, is this a draw still? Wait a second. I think this is still a draw if you check the... Uh, you check... G5, B2, G6. No, this is losing. This is losing. The king gets back. Oh, Elham threw this. The king is getting back, and the king is cut off. Wow, Elham threw this hard. That was such a hard throw by him. How did he throw this? That's insane. Like, here after B5, F3 was an easy draw. Easy draw. Jospin is not playing the World Cup, I don't believe. Yeah, it's over. It's just over. You just lose. Incredible. Yeah, he just had to play F3. All he had to do was go F3 after B5. That's it. I mean, F he could have gone F3 or even Rook B2, B4, F3. F3 at some moment was just an easy draw. Okay, King G4. Oh, no, but Jossum just threw it back. Oh, no, Jossum just threw it back, I think. You get the... Oh, no, the pawn gets to G6. G7's a draw. G7's a draw. Oh, no, King G5, King G6. And G4, G5, and King H7. G5. King H8. G6. Check. So much for draws. Hmm. Very poor. Very poor by Jospin. That does hurt. That does hurt. 
Why does my arm look weird in the second cam? Because it's it's up and down. That's why. Am I happy that Jossum lost? I don't think it really matters that much. I mean, there's still uh, there's still Meyer Meyer and Elham on the other side, and I have this match against um I have this match against uh I have this match against um against Bordnick. Oh, someone says Jospin. Jospin blocked uh he blocked uh he blocked Elham. He blocked Elham. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Someone is not happy. Someone is not happy. Just like Big Fish blocked. Yeah, he said he is annoying. <laughs> oh man, that's that's hilarious. Okay, so we're going to be playing. Let me see when we start. Oh, Jocelyn and Elham blocked before the match already, and he said he said that Elham is a jerk. That's funny. He was being annoying. <laughs> uh, so good, so good. Why do I wear the ring? Um, I wear the ring because it's very significant for me. It was like uh, I won the U.S. Championship in 2009 at a time when I wasn't sure if I was going to keep playing chess um, professionally. So for that reason, uh, when I played that U.S. Championship in 2009, which I went on to win, it became a turning point. And from there on, I never really looked back. I kept playing playing chess professionally. But prior to winning that, I was considering um, I was considering you know not playing playing chess professionally because I wasn't making a good living. So it's just very significant. They said we're starting in two minutes. So I'm going to go use the Russian very quickly, you guys. I'm going to run to the Russian. Give me one second. Jocelyn already blocked him, so he blocked him again. <laughs> That's funny. Good stuff. Good stuff. Your monitor looks too far from me. How do you see the moves? It's not, actually. I mean, it's really not. Like, if you look, I mean, that's a differential. Okay, what do we want to play? I'm going to play Knight F3 this time. Something a little bit slower. Plays E6, okay. I think this is generally not supposed to be considered great for black. Knight c6 especially is not right. I know that much. Very strange play. Okay, I think I'm going to go here in rook c1 maybe. Knight e7. Okay, I'll play knight e5 and e3, of course. This rook c8. I think b4 and I take and I go queen b3. <clears throat> I also, oh, I also had bishop h3 there. I just realized I didn't do it, but let's go here. I mean, he can play c6, but that really closes the dot. What? <clears throat> Don't I just have takes? Maybe it's not winning, though. Huh. He got lucky. He played a bad move, but he got lucky. Um, Because <clears throat> it's not actually just lost like it should be. Hmm. Does it? Okay, so I mean, I guess I'm just up a pawn here. I just play the position. Oh, wait, knight of seven, there's bishop d... Wait a second, I gotta be a little bit careful how I play this. Go here. Maybe I should have gone queen d7. <clears throat> but I'm up a pawn. Oh, that's a bad move. Now I check and take. Doesn't mean I'm winning or anything, but I, I'm up a pawn, and I should just be better here. Thank you to Young Bishop's KPR for the prime. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Back here. If I get d5 and I open up the diagonal, I think I'm. I don't think I can ever lose. Yeah, and he can't stop it now because the rook holds everything. <laughs> okay, let's just go d5, of course. Got to open it up. Ex exchange the bishops here. And play h4 if I want to. I assume that I don't actually feel like I should, but I'm, I'm a little worried about some g5 moves here. 
So let's think about how I can play this. Rook c1, h4 looks a little bit sketchy. h4, g5 looks a little bit sketchy too. Okay, let's think. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to go queen b2 necessarily. Think about this. I mean, maybe I do just go... I think I'm going to go here and just queen d1. Because now my rooks at least are very good. He takes... I think I take with the F pawn. I H pawn's way too risky. I think I just go rookie two and queen d4. I should be winning here. I don't like that he took on g3 there. I understand the logic behind the move, but I think it was it wasn't the right move. <clears throat> queen d4 is a big threat now. Of course, I'll just go queen d4. Queen f5 makes sense. Good move. I don't want to go d6. Still a very tricky position um, to play. I think I'll just go back again. I don't like what I've done. <clears throat> I think I'm actually going to... Very risky move. I'm going to do it. I hope I'm not blundering a mate. It's a very risky move to play. But I don't see a win from it. If there's no win, I'm going to be able to play rookie two. And this diagonal at some point will be enough to make a draw. Not easy to win, though. Not easy to win. Very tricky. He's also down on the clock, which is important. I mean, queen e2 is probably a draw. d6. Is d6 a move? d6 takes 6. Rook f2, king h1. Queen f2, king h1, rook h6. I mean, d6, rook f8. I... Look, if he's, got, if he's got a mate, he's got a mate. I don't see it, so I'm going to play this. I've got to trust my instincts that there's no, there, there's no mate after d7, rook f2, trade, trade, king h1, or king h3. Okay, so the moment of truth has arrived. D7, rook, D, rook F1, I make another queen. I mean, I don't see the win. Um, I don't see the win. He's got rook F1, queen E2, rook G1, king H3. I don't see the win. If he has a win, he has a win. He can show me the win. Check, I come up. Hey, but does that really work? Oh my god, that was an awful move by me. What am I doing? I gotta move. Ooh, I love that I got way too close for comfort, but I got the win. Way too close for comfort. I had enough time, though, that it wasn't a problem, luckily. I was up, like, five to six seconds, so that's why it worked. Now Bortnik will block me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oof, that was not great. I was supposed to play knight f6, by the way, but whatever. Yeah, I just realized he could do this, but does this actually work if I go queen g6? <clears throat> Oh, he just goes bishop e3. Wow, I didn't expect that. I play queen g6. Huh, interesting move by Bortnik. Huh. Let's go here. 
I think takes was probably okay, but I, I don't know if it was okay, so I don't want to go into any of this mess. Go here. If I get bishop, I mean, I'm basically playing a slightly worse endgame where he has two bishops. Oh, wait, no, bishop g4 hangs upon. I got to be careful. What am I doing? Okay, let's go here. If bishop b5, I play a6, and bishop a4, b5. So I think I'm fine here. About to play bishop g4 and hang f7. That would have been really unfortunate. Position looks very dry and balanced, so I think I'm doing well. Oh, I mean, I know I, I must have had a mate somewhere, but, like, I just didn't see it. I didn't see it considering the time situation. Funny thing is here, I think I actually, you know, if the match situation was different, if the match situation was different, I think I would take with the pawn, but because of the match situation, I'm going to take, uh, take with the queen and go here in f5. Goes knight g3. I can still play like g6 and f5, probably. I castle knight f5. I can also just play d5, but. Hmm. I can also just go long, too. Let's think for a second. g6, bishop g5. Knight g8. Castles f6, knight there. I don't really love it. I'm just going to castle queenside. Probably play d5 at some point. Probably he'll go c4 here. I'm not sure. Maybe. A little bit risky castling in a game where I, where a draw is fine, but I, I don't know. I, I've got to trust myself here that, that I have enough counterplay. Go here. If knight f5, I'll take and go queen d7. Could have played f6 too, maybe. But whatever. D4, I go D5, of course. I assume, or do I go... No, not F5. I guess I just go D5. C4, I can take. It takes, I can take. Doesn't look ideal for white. Okay, I don't want to take there. I think I'll just play F6. Consolidate my chain, so I can take the knight or the pawn. Looks pretty reasonable. <clears throat> Plays rook a D1. That makes a lot of sense. I still don't want to take. I mean, I can obviously take. I think I'm just going to play h6 and rook e8. I think I'm just going to try to consolidate my position a little bit here. Takes. Okay, now I can take with the queen or the knight. I mean, I presume I should take with the knight. It makes the most sense. Did I just blunder? I just blundered d5, didn't I? Although, wait. Actually, wait. I can still move my queen, maybe. <clears throat> it's a bad move by me. Knight d4, rook, what about knight d4, knight d4, rook d4, and I move my queen? Very wild. I'm going to play it. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to play it anyway. If he takes, I move my queen out, and I think he loses pawns. I guess I will play. I got I got to move quicker. I'm just too slow right now. Oh, let's go here and take. I guess. Oh, uh, he wants d6. Uh. Okay. Um, let's go here. <clears throat> the blunder. There we go. Get the dubs. Big dub. 2-0. We win again. We win again. Very good. A very, very good, you guys. So we get another W. Um, two zip and pretty good stuff. Rook D1 pre-move fail. Yeah.
We got the dub. It's good stuff. Good stuff. He could have tricked me with rookie one. No, he couldn't have because um, he couldn't have tricked me because it's a check. It's an all. It's a check no matter what. So he can't move the rooks. His king is in check. He has to do something. New chess sweep for the twenty two months. Jamble juice for the four. Show the standings. Yeah, they messed up the score sheet. So like the score sheet got messed up. So it just it doesn't look the way that it should look now. Um, which is kind of annoying. Like okay, I know. I at least I know my next opponent. But yeah, they 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 just messed up the score sheet. So just not. It's not what it was, you guys. I'm sorry about that. Um. Yeah, they, they they did some weird formatting or something. So it's like, I mean, it it, it looks ridiculous. Like, how am I even gonna do this? Uh, let me do let me do a multiple screen capture, I guess. Well, let me let me add um. Let me add another one. Okay, just give me one second. I'll I'll copy this over, you guys. Yeah. So we're gonna be playing Fritz in the uh in the semifinals. Um and yeah. Okay. All right. Give me one second, you guys. Sorry about sorry about this. I don't know why they changed their format, but they they completely changed it from what it was. So that's just how it goes. Not much I can do about it. All right. Okay. All right, you guys. So we are going to be playing in the uh, in the semifinals. You're in good form lately. Keep it up. Thank you so much. Yeah, it looks like the same form if you go to the side panels. Oh, am I? Oh, I'm just an idiot. Oh, well, that's lovely. I'm just an idiot. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. Okay. Well, that that's not nothing new there, by the way. Nothing new at all. Okay, I'm just a total idiot. One second. Wait. Let, let me let me figure this out. Where are we in the standings? One second. I'm just an idiot. Nothing else is new. Yeah, we, we have our semifinal matchups as expected. Yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah. Why must I lose this idiot? Very good, you guys. Very good. Anyway, we got the dub. We're playing Fritz is Shock. Who is Fritz is Shock, by the way? Who is Fritz is Shock? Does anybody know? What's his rating, I guess? Actually, of course, everybody knows. They can look it up. But what's his rating? By the way, also, you guys, Rook D1 doesn't... Rook D1 wouldn't be the cheese, so I play Queen H3 anyway. Wait, he's 1670? You're joking, right? Oh, he's 25, 29. Okay. All right. Yeah. We need Aaron LS for the six months. Thanks so much to Aaron LS. Thank you to SC Brad for the, for the uh, tier one. Uh, it's not. No, we're only in the semis, you guys. So semis is still best of three games. Best of three games. Best of three games. It's not best of, um, it's not best of two. Or, or it's not best of five like the final. He's very fast. Okay. Wait, his feed is 2100. Okay. Yeah. Important to know. Enjoy the coffee chest video. You should do that more often. Yeah, I actually have a couple other videos. That's not all the footage we, we took. So there's some additional footage as well. There will be more videos. Uh, how did Hikaru go to Boston and play? Um, how did Hikaru go to Boston and play? Is that a recording? Is coffee chest on the West Coast? Yes. Uh, so Boston Mike is here, here in LA. 
play fast against him okay but i mean it's 2100 i uh, think you to mo mo for the six months appreciate it uh he must be streaming you have to be streaming to play you get a jor play for the prime appreciate it thank you shouldn't it be la mike then he's from boston That's like, that's like saying because I'm not in New York anymore. I'm like, I'm not a New Yorker. I mean, I grew up in New York. Thank you to Swift, Swift LY for the two, Torgy for the two. Thank you to Hunting Leopard for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hunting Leopard. When will the game start? Let me ask. Um, oh, they said the other semifinal starts first. Okay, so we're going to watch the other semi first, which is between Meyer and Alham. They start first. So in that case, if they start first... I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take a break. Get get warmed up, or maybe. Nah, eh, no, nah, it's okay. We'll we'll just hang. We'll just hang. We'll just hang. How many Hikaru followers follow Fritzy now? Yeah. If you leave NY, you're no longer a New Yorker. Okay. Yes, you guys. I like I like that logic. Someone has a clip of Tilt Bortnik. What is this clip? What's this clip of? Let's let's watch this clip. What does this What is this clip of? One second. Let's watch this clip. Okay, what is this clip? Um, one second. Okay, let's let's watch this clip. Let me move my cam as well. Okay, let's let's watch this. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, let, let me let me mute the tab. Let me mute the tab for a second. Okay, let's watch this. Блин! Офигеть можно. А. А. Окей. Блин! Окей. Ам, yes, okay. Ага. Uh -huh. All right, let's go back to let's go let's go back here and watch this. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. All right, let's put the music back on as well. Thank you to Harry Bump for the 300 bits. Thank you to Jake Boy for the 10 months. Appreciate it. All right, what's going on? So Meyer won game one against Alham. So Meyer, of course, as usual, another very formidable opponent. He's really doing, he's doing very well too. Did Boss Mike give you a hard time? He was, he was, uh, do you mean on the board or you just mean in general? I mean, he was a very, he was a very nice get, guy. He was uh, very, very friendly. And I, I enjoyed my time immensely with them. Honestly, nothing bad. Yeah, I, I didn't, I mean, I, I have some general idea of what, of what it's like along the lines of what it means, but yeah. He said I had a good time. Thank you, Hikaru. I'm pretty sure he did not say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't say that. Meyer is a Meyer, of course, has been a very formidable opponent throughout throughout Arena Kings. He's always been very formidable. Yeah, this is a semifinal. So or wait, no, this is the quarterfinal, sorry. So semifinals, um, Oh, no, this is the semi. Sorry, not the quarters. This is the semifinals. So, I mean, I should have a pretty favorable matchup in the semis, but we'll see. Why didn't I give more time to Mike? So it'd be fair. I would have been more than willing to. I think it's just we kind of did it, and that's what it was. I mean, I'm sure in the future, if I go back and play more, I mean, we can definitely do like odds games or different things. But it was also the first time, so I think everyone was just like we were just like feeling it out and doing it. Um. But yeah, down the road, like if we do more and they want odds or something, of course that's possible. Absolutely. I would obviously give them odds. Okay, by the way, Elham is about to lose, right? Yeah, Elham looks like he's in bad shape. No game has ever made me as upset uh, as when... As, as when I lose in chess. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, it's true, actually. I think I, I know there are a lot of people I know where they're like, in chess, they get angrier about losing, like, they get angrier, more frustrated than they do about any other game. Um, 
so so like that's like yeah it's it's not a joke chess is one of those things that for whatever reason like it really i don't know it really like it brings out like the what's it bring out it brings out like the um it brings out the basic instinct in men right that's that's what we call it is that the saying um but yeah it really bring it brings it out it's because you have nobody else to blame i mean i guess that is true because like if you lose in chess that's a good point like you can't blame any there's like no nothing else to blame like you just can't lay blame anywhere else you can't blame teammates you can't i mean you can't really generally like i mean you can get mad at your mouse or something but like unless you mouse up you can't blame your mouse like you can't blame your opponent so it's like you really run out of things to like blame it on that's the problem that, that's actually the problem that, that is a problem with uh um you can complain that the opponent got lucky right but still it's like that's you know i mean everyone knows in their heart of hearts that like that you had to do something wrong that's the problem you know that you did something wrong to lose the game blame the clock or yeah blame the blame the chess pieces too don't forget that one that's the latest one blame the uh blame the uh, chess pieces because the king is too short relative to like the queen um yeah you can't blame the ref either that's true there's no ref in chess good point yeah no i mean it's it's true though that's the thing uh, which, yeah that's probably a good point as to why chess is so brutal because yeah you just yeah blame the creator of chess also yeah <laughs> blame the arbiter yes yeah uh wait okay knight b yeah actually Meyer's in good shape I don't know if he'll win this game but he shouldn't lose if he's careful his time is a little bit of an issue but he is much better here maybe just g6 king g7 that's what I would probably do here did draw a gangster on each for the gifted sub thing so much rook b4 also a very good move to win the pawn on d4 yeah Ferugia did get mad at Magnus for saying something in in Nor in, uh, in Norwegian that, that's that's very true thank you to Octu for the 300 bits thank you so much is the camera based in the monitors how the online tournaments must be played to prove cheating? yeah I mean because the thing is like obviously if you see my main camera it's got it's got the vision so like it's got the vision and sure you can say some technical thing like if someone looks away 20 times a game uh wait a second what just happened oh wait no Bishop B6 wins um but yeah it's like I mean you've got this camera too I mean as you guys can see like it's just like there's just there, there's just nowhere to um yeah there's this that, that's why two cams I mean like theoretically I guess someone it's still possible in some way but it's not realistic I need to fill Winman for the five months also I'm very glad that chess.com adopted that that stance because um I blame the camera for the loss too yes of course um but I was gonna say that uh um what was I gonna say I was gonna say that that I'm glad chess.com adopted the two camera resolution because like I started using two cams during title Tuesday a long time ago and I felt that you need to do it mirrors yeah I mean I guess theoretically but again it's like you know if you look away for like for like uh, 30 seconds and you do it consistently it's pretty obvious what's going on I mean it's pretty obvious what are they supposed to say on second cam nothing really just more of the room basically yeah I need a camera looking at my ceiling there's my ceiling you guys just a normal ceiling yeah oh yeah all right thank you to Elia one 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 for the 10 months thank you so much appreciate it wait wait what uh while I'm talking too much what just happened wait Meyer just lost wait what I didn't even see it because I was busy showing my my ceiling what uh wow blunders blunders everywhere indeed indeed can you see my messages lol who created chess um yeah chess was created by uh Gary chess is the creator of the great game of chess Uh, what if you have one screen that shows your cams well I think I think it's important that you have multiple so for example let's say I didn't have my main cam on like if I don't have my main cam on you only see the screen so like you don't get any visual of me like this is the point like yeah I can turn it off I'll turn it off temporarily like you see but you see you only see the screens in front of me you guys can still hear me you only see the screen so it's like I could look away for five seconds every single move for example and there's no way there's no way to tell so like if I do this with a cam on me I'm look here and I make a move and I'm like I make a move and then I you know I keep doing it if there's only if there's only one cam then it's then then like you can't get you can't get you can't get the room that's the whole point 
So, so that's the reason. Yeah. That's that's the important thing. By the way, White's looking pretty good here. I think Meyer is a good position. Ninety six and ninety six are both moves. Did I grow, grow up with television or was there only radio back then? I'm not that old, you guys. Uh, but I will say I did not actually have TV in my house until I was like 11 years old. So I was born in 87. So until like 1998, I, uh, I grew up without, without a TV. I, I listened to a lot of New York Yankees games on the radio growing up. That, that's actually how I grew up. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, um, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't grow up with, a, with watching television until I was 11 years old. I think it's also because my parents, I, I mean, it's not that they couldn't afford it, but I mean, cable, getting a TV, paying for cable, I mean, what's the use of it? What's the, what's the point? So, so yeah. John Sterling, of course, seven, 770, 7, 770 AM, Yankees, Yankees games. I grew up, yeah, I grew up, and I, I think, like, the radio doesn't work anymore, but I still, in New York, I still have the small radio that I listen to all the games on. Um, so, yeah. But that's what I was saying. Did I go to any Yankees games live? Yeah, I went to a few. I remember the, the one of the most heartbreaking things is, you know, I, I don't come from a rich family. And, um, you know, we certainly it's not like it was a huge struggle, but it wasn't like there was a lot of, you know, extra money to be spent. But I think it was around the rise of eBay. I think when eBay first started be becoming popular with like their their live auctions and everything, like in, I want to say it was like 99 or maybe 2000. Uh, we actually tried to uh, we tried to bid on on Yankees tickets that were available on eBay, and um, and it was very sad because like my brother and I were very young, we were like really excited we we're gonna go to a Yankees game. So they're, they're bidding, and as everybody knows, at the at the last second, um, someone comes in and and like overbids you. So like we we make our bid. I mean like my my stepfather does this bid with like twenty seconds left, and we're like yay, we you know we come up with our um we come up with with our with our big bid, and we're gonna win. And so, you know, it goes up, of course, by like the $2, $2.50 or $5, $5 increments. And it looked like one second, someone comes in and uh, comes in and um, and outbids us. And it was very sad. I mean, I remember that so well. Luckily, we were able to eventually go to like a game, I think, later on that year. So I've, I've been to a couple of Yankees games, but that was uh, that was really that was really harsh as a really harsh as a kid. Really, really harsh. It's the name of the game. No, I mean obviously it's the name of the game. But it was just like I I remember that. It's like it's like oh man. Please win ASAP. It's two AM in India. Well, my match is not ongoing right now. But I would say I've probably been to on average not that many. I think I've probably been to like five or six Yankees games in my life. Not that many. I've been to way more hockey games. I've been to probably. I'm betting I've been to something like 20 hockey games in my life, if not more. But I've been to I've been to uh, I've only been to a handful of baseball games. Yeah, I've only I've only been to like five. I think it's probably like five Yankees games. I did go the last time I went to a Yankees game though was was important because it was the um it was the final I think it was the final the time that Mariano Rivera ever pitched. I think it was a game against the Red Sox, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it for sure it was the Red Sox, but it's the game where the Yankees got ahead. Like they were up like eight. I don't. I want to say they were up like eight, eight zero, eight one or something. But then in the eighth inning, um, they they messed the bullpen started messing it up, and it got to like eight four, eight five, where Rivera had a chance for a save, and um, and so Rivera actually came into the game, and that that I, I'm pretty sure that was the last game that he ever. Uh, he, that was the last game he ever pitched in at Yankee, you know, for the Yankees. Well, in baseball, period. Have I been to NBA games? I've been to, uh, I went to a Nets game in the Stone Age at the IZOD Arena before they moved to Brooklyn. Um, I don't think I ever have been to a New York Knicks game. No, I've never been to a Knicks game. Too expensive, too expensive. Isn't White winning? Technically, yes, White's winning, but both players have no time. Rookie three? Okay, Georg's going to win this because he's got a Rook and a Bishop, surely. I would go here and take the Pawn. Thank you to Anit Chess for the gift of sub to Cream Skull. Thank you to Digging for Ore for the six months. Thank you so much. This is winning, but this isn't winning yet, but it's close to winning. I, I Meyer's going to win this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. 
such a messy position to play because like black has to pre-move too. Rook b3. Oh. Oh. Elham swindles him there. Wow. Huge swindle from Elham to get rook b3 and trade. Wow. What a swindle. Impressive. Impressive. I admire you having so much money, but still retaining the ability to be frugal. Well, I mean, I'm talking about my childhood, but still, yeah. Like, I, I would say that in general, um, actually, let's play a bullet game. In, in general, yeah, Nick's tickets were always too expensive. Like, my parents definitely could not afford them. Yeah, I, Nick, for the 15 months, appreciate it. Thank you. So, anyway, um, but yeah. Elham is underrated? Relatively, yeah. He should probably be around 2,900 right now. Thank you to Comedian Starcraft for the Prime. Thank you so much. Still no TV and games on radio? <laughs> Funny. Yeah. Would I say Meyer is easier for me? I, you know, if you ask me my, the honest truth about this format, I would say that Elham should be on paper an easier pairing for me. Knight C3, or... Queen D2, Bishop B4. Yeah, I would say on paper, Elham has to be the easier pairing. On paper, at least. Yeah, El Elham's getting smoked in this game, though. I, I paid $650 for two tickets to see the Habs to join the Rangers, and it was worth it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Montreal is absurd. I don't know why. Like, I, I remember... I've, I've been to... I went to a game at the, at the Bell Center a couple years back. Actually, more than a couple now. Um, but I remember, yeah, tickets are so expensive there. And also, like, you can't buy season tickets either, even if you have money. Because, like, there's a 20-year wait list. Do I play straight after this? Yeah, I play the semifinal. Um, I don't know against... Actually, against uh, Fritz. Have I, have I ever watched any tennis matches? Yeah, I've been to the U.S. Open a few times. Uh, I've been to the French Open, actually, as well. So one day I have to get to Wimbledon and the Australian Open. Although Australia is so expensive. I, I was actually looking at it in 20, 2020, 2020, early, like late 2019, early 2020. I was looking at maybe going to Australia to play some poker and, and catch, um, catch, uh, catch the Australian Open. But tickets were just ridiculous. Way too, they were way too pricey. Yeah, I've been to Roland Garros, yes. Go to Indian Wells this October. Oh, that's a good point. I should go there. Yeah, I should go to Indian Wells. True. Do I follow the NHL at all? I do. I follow the NHL. Well, not not like in the last year and a half or so, but yeah, very big hockey fan. For like two years, I had season tickets for the Florida Panthers. Um, actually, sorry, it was just one year. I had season tickets. Oh, man, Night of Five is a big cheese by Elham. Uh, big cheese, big cheese checkmate coming in. Uh-oh. Did Georg throw again? Did Georg just throw a third game in a row? Knight d4 is winning. Queen g8 is winning. I mean, everything wins here. Hmm. I mean, but actually, b5 was a bad move by Alham. Now, now Meyer's back in the game. He's still lost, but he's back in the game. An IT4. Yep. Wow, very sad for Meyer. But that being said, Alham hung in there, and Meyer missed. Let's see, Meyer was 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 winning the second game, which he lost. He uh, he drew the third game, which he was also winning. He lost this game, which he was also winning. Um, he lost like three games, and he lost like three games. Maybe not even lost, but he had three winning positions in the last three games, and he scored half a point out of those three. That's just not going to cut it. Um, yeah, that's just not going to cut it. All right. Yeah. All right, so I think our match should be starting soon. Let me see. Um, his Oh, yeah, his mouse slipped. Okay, I'm, I guess my match is starting now. So, all right, let's go. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Who is Fritzy? I don't know.
Yeah, I was impressed by Elham that he hung in there, but that was I would say that Meyer, based on how strong he is, that was definitely a choke. He's fast, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's keep going. It's already a bad start for Fritz. I've had this position a lot against... Um, I've had this position many times as white and black. I think I had this against... What's his name? Actually, against a German player. I think Dimitri Kolars. I've had this position many times against him. Um, I'm going to play not B4. Let's just go here. Knight F8. Now, that's a very ugly move. Very ugly move. I play Knight E4 and just takes... It was rook c8 logical move i'm just gonna play c5 just grip the grip the center here not a great move by me though to be fair i'll still get away with it probably but not a great decision okay let's just take let's go here maybe his bishop is very bad it's blockaded by the pawn i'm just gonna put the queen here and drop the bishop back to f1 or maybe go to c4 Actually, let's go to c4. Put pressure on the knight of knight e5, maybe, as well. This bishop is so bad here on b7. We not four. Interesting choice. Obviously, trade. No, let's just trade. Good g3. He can't take the king g2. Play a3. I'm just going to try to basically win this game very thematically. I have 95 at some moment. This is surprisingly slow by me. I should have probably been more aggressive here. But I am much better. He's got a bad bishop. Okay, knight c7. I expected that. Let's see. Um, let's go here, maybe. Definitely looking to um definitely looking to play on the C file here. Goes rook a8. Yeah, I kind of actually misplay I misplayed this a little bit. How do I do this? Actually, I really misplay this. Wait a second. I got I got to focus. Go here, maybe takes. I actually really misplayed this. This is rook d8. This is very I very poorly played this position. I'm gonna have to come up with some, some magic here. Now I can sack, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna go knight of three. Go here. I want to go bishop h three, maybe. Target the bishop. Target the knight. Go here. Target the pawn. He's starting to slip up a little bit. I feel like still not not clear cut how I do anything. But let's just go here, maybe. Did I just hang something? I felt like I hung something, but he doesn't take advantage of it. Go here. Go knight c6 if I want. I don't want to. Let's just go here. It's not a good game. Put myself in a bad spot here. But I should still be fine. Not good. Thank you to Team Koya for the gifted sub. Rook c4. Wait, what? That's a blunder, I think. I go here. Create a fossil. Wait. I mean, okay. If he, If this is not good, it's not good, but... We'll see. He's using a lot of time here. Knight c7. That's very strange. First of all, it hangs a pawn. Secondly, I'm going to go here and hit this pawn. Very strange move. He's also got like no time here either. I'm going to go here and just go C6, C7 basically. I'm threatening to take and go C7 as well. He sees 95, which is a good move. I'm going to try to trade some rooks here. 
It kind of has to trade because otherwise I go here, trap the rook. Rook f3, king g2. Maybe I just take on e6. Sack and go c7. Okay, I have so much time here that I can just. It's uh, it's best of three, you guys. I right, let him get this. let's just attack the center i don't know if this is right but let's do it go here probably e6 let's just play e6 maybe knight g7 and just castle probably i'll play for bishop a6 maybe i want to go bishop a6 next move cut him off from castling just take a bishop a6 here. Takes with a knight. Wait, can't I? Wait a second. I... Wait. F4 bishop a6. I'm going to do it anyway. Looks good. This should just be winning, I assume. Yeah, he's, he's kind of... I think he's on tilt a little bit after game one. Because now he's just getting smoked in this game. If knight b5, I can even go queen d7 or just knight c6. Should just be winning. See what he does. He sacks the queen, which is fine, except that he doesn't have any pieces to mate me with. That's the only problem. Like, if he could somehow put a knight on f6 or get a rook or a queen, he'd mate me, but he doesn't have any of those things. He just doesn't have the reinforcements to help the, the bishop and the pawn here. Like, there's no lobster pincer. I can play d4 if I want. Um... I mean, everything is obviously great here for me. I just have to be not be stupid. Whatever. Let's just go D4. Let's go for the kill. Maybe Tenkoya for the 300 bits. Thank you so much, Tenkoya. Yeah, I knew he would do this. I'm just going to sack material here. I don't even care. Well, I should have put the other rook here. I'm a little bit confused by what I'm doing here. Bishop f3. Wait, so if I take... Can't take with an... What? Okay, we got a checkmate. Two zip. We win the match. There we go, you guys. We win two zip. So I'm going to take a break. Run to the restroom before the big final against uh, Georg Meyer. So I'll be right back, you guys. All right, you guys. Thank you to Barry H. Chess for the three months. Thank you so much to Barry H. Chess. Let me see when we're starting the final. He car was sleeping. It's early in LA. <laughs> He's sleeping. It's early in LA. Yeah. All right. We need more doubters, please. Returns are very low for believers. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Fleur, Fleur be Proven for the 10 months. So, oh, wait, by the way, sorry, you guys. I'm not playing Meyer. Sorry, in my head, I realized I said I'm playing Meyer because somehow Meyer was winning all three of those games and I didn't win any of them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's Elham. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I in my mind, I'm like, Meyer won. He won. He must have won one of those three games, but he actually didn't. Um, so no, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be Alham. Sorry, what, what what am I smoking? Give me one second while I adjust the, adjust the score sheet, you guys. Um... All right. Isn't Elham an FM? I'm not sure what his title is, but probably. 
Thank you to Floor of Profit again for the 10 months. Appreciate it. Thank you to so the 9,000 9, you guys for watching. Hope you're having a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, wherever you are in the big wide world. Once again, I'm going to do my daily shout out. If you guys, um, if you do have Amazon Prime, you get that free shipping or all those Prime Prime deals with Amazon. Amazon actually owns Twitch. So you can connect to your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month on Twitch. So instead of having to spend $5 for a tier one sub, you can use that Prime and it's free. No money down. You're already paying 100 bucks um, for that Prime shipping. So take five bucks out of Jeff Bezos' pocket and put it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. There are 9,000 of you guys. So um, somebody must, must have a Prime. Uh, you saw a TSM tweet? No, I did not see the TSM tweet. No money down yet. I don't know. What, what am I doing? Trying to sell you guys a car? Uh, yeah, Amazon owns Twitch. Um, they bought Twitch, I think, in 2014 for, I want to say, was it $1 billion or $3 billion? I don't remember how many billions it was, but they bought it. Um, thank you to Reese441 for the Prime and Fisher's Fits for the Prime. Reamser for the five months. Thank you so much. Thank you to Luziak, one with the Prime. Uh, oh, my gosh. They bought Amazon bought Twitch for $1 billion. Twitch is Twitch must be worth what like three billion? Let's see how much is Twitch worth. As of 21, 2021, Twitch has a net worth that is estimated to be five billion. So basically, they got like they got a four hundred percent return on that investment. Not bad, not bad. Jeff, Jeff with the, with the Midas touch. Thank you to Pro thirteen thirty seven area with the three. Thank you to Richie Needles with the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you to Fearless Bird of Paradise for seven months. Appreciate it. I'm not muted. Not muted. Thank you to Blessed No Stress for the two months. Thank you so much. <laughs> AL search today. Yeah, I've owned AL for a long time, but it didn't look like it was surging. It was up 3%. That's not surging. It was up like 7.6% at one point today, which means the market probably went red. Uh, if I take a look, yeah, market was not very, very good today, was it? Pretty ugly day in the market. Very ugly day, actually, it looks like. Tesla did badly, and B was not good. Amazon was, was fine. A Apple actually killed it. Apple looks like the only good stock today. Um, yikes. Okay, you guys, anyway, we're going to be playing. Okay, let's focus. Let's just play E4 again. Okay, he's going to play this. Okay, let's play this, this. Okay. Rook one. I'm gonna play C three. I'm gonna take with a rook actually. Thank you to FM William Schill for the prime. Thank you to Hassan with the prime. Thank you to Jambo Poi with the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, this looks very pleasant. It's just classic, classic uh, two bishops position. Great chain of pawns. Hard to believe that I can be worse here. Not worse, sorry, but hard to believe. I mean, this, this is only one way. Only one person can be better here, and it's white. So as long as I keep it controlled, um, there's no chance of me losing. Now, he does go knight d7. Strikes me as an odd move. I'm just going to play rook d1. I figure I have some trick with this. This is what I'm banking on. You just struggle pug for the three months. Thank you so much to struggle pug. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you to Sh William Schill again. Assuming that is the FM William Schill. Thank you so much for the uh, for the for the sub. Um, okay, I've rook a one. I mean, I think I'm gonna go here though. He does this. I'll take take. He does this. I'm basically gonna have to win a very slow, grindy king and pawn, uh, like a like some kind of end game. Oh my god, I gave him e5. Still better though. I still should be better though with this connected connected pawn. So let me think about this for a second. My instinct says I, I've got to be better here. I can throw in a check, but I, I just trust that with these two pawns, at some point these end games have to be better for white. I think about how to play this. I can't go f4. I'm gonna go rook d3 and then f4 and then king f3. Although even rook d3 doesn't look right to me. I should have gone rook h1. It gives me bishop g5 here, which actually is an important move. Now black has problems, I think, after f4 or rook d7. Actually, now this could be very dangerous for black. 
King e7 was, I think, a very serious mistake. I go f4. I have f5. Actually, this is very dangerous for black. Might be losing, in fact. If rook g8, I have rook e3, and I win the game. If it goes bishop f6, I have rook e3, and I win the game. If it goes bishop g7, I have f5, and then I infiltrate. I think he's actually just lost here. And bishop d6, I go f5, king d7, bishop f4. He's, I think he's just lost here. Elhan doesn't show his cameras on stream. Uh, you have to. Wait, are you saying that he's not showing his camera? Thank you to Egbert for the prime. Okay, he goes to h6. I don't know what that does exactly. Um, he doesn't have a cam? What? I just take. He's showing the board, but not the cam. I'm pretty sure that's not how the rules work. I can just go g5 here. I mean, this is obviously just winning. Rook d7 also is winning, but I'm just going to play g5. No cam on this Twitch stream, just the board? Oh, he's on oh he's on the Twitch call. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also do it the other way. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. You can do it the other way. Yeah, I can take, obviously, but even just check wins. If he goes back, I just take, he takes, and then I just go here and here. Bye bye, birdie. We make a queen and the game. Yeah. Okay, one up. Oh, uh, let's play e5. Let's let's get back to solid territory. Okay, goes there. I know knight f6 is a move here. I think it's fine. H3. I mean, knight d4 is fine. Even bishop e6 should be fine here. I think just h6. I also have knight b4, I just realized as well. I mean, everything is kind of dry here. But again, as I said before, since I won the first game, I don't need to go crazy here. I can also kind of just flatten the curve or flatten the board, I should say. Just flatten the board, play it very solid, try to reduce reduce chances for either side to win because it draws in my, is, in, is to, my advantage, to my benefit. Just that. So, of course, I'll go here and take. Okay, I'm just going to... I guess I'll move my king. I don't know if I need to. I give him some C3, D4, but I'm not overly worried by that. I can just go knight d7 at some point. I need a granddaddy kush for the prime. Oh, um, a draw is not good for the casino. Okay. Flatten the 2D board. Exactly, you guys. A draw is bad for the casino. Okay. Well, I mean, so be it. I mean, I can play 98 here. It's kind of an interesting move, but it's probably also just bad. I, I should probably be... I should assume that El Ham is playing well. He's a strong player. I should not really try to gamble unless it's absolutely required. So I'm going to go F5 here. I just I, I don't want to gamble unless I have to. Thank you to Reggie Mc, Mc, Reggie McBailbag for the prime. Thank you so much to Reggie Reggie McBailbag. Okay, all right, it's a new one to me. Let's go Queen F6 here. Um, I think I'm just going to go Rookie Eight, Rookie Seven, maybe. I gave him Bishop B5. I shouldn't have given him that, but let's just go here. At some point, I'm going to play a6 and rook e8, I assume. Uh, he goes bishop b5 now. Probably I should have stopped that right away, but I just go... I don't want to go g5, but I'm going to play it anyway. Oh, sorry, Reggie McBallbag. Sorry, thank, thank you to Random Django for the prime. Sorry, McBallbag. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, let's. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, let's see. I can play rook. F let's go rook f eight here. Okay. I thought it was. I thought it said bail. It says b a l l. I saw it as b a i l. Double l kind of threw me off. Okay, let's just take and take. Again, I'm fine here with this position. It's probably only a draw, but but the thing is, Alham lost one, so like, I don't mind draws. Draws are fine. I can play e4. I can also just take, I guess. I mean, everything is a draw. It's a question of do I really want to press and try to win somehow or not. My instinct says I should just be smart and not take gamble, not gamble anything. c6 is actually also... c6 a move? It is. c6, c4, b5. Let's do it. Go b5 here. I don't know if this is good, by the way, but I'm trying to get kind of chirpy and aggressive a little bit. He goes queen c3. So first of all, I can... Just take here, which I should. 
So wait, now let's just take here. Oh my god, I blundered rookie eight. Jesus, I just blundered that. Oh my god. Wait, what is D6? Wait. Wait, D6 is a blunt. Wait, what is D6? Wait a second. Think for a second. He, Queen A5 was winning on the spot. He missed Queen A5. He blundered. Queen A5 was game over. I think Queen A5 was winning for him, but he missed it. Yikes. But now after King D7, he just doesn't have anything, does he? Wait, if I go... Wait a second. This is still, wait, I go here, of course. Queen A3, I have C5. If he takes, takes check. I always have C5 and I cover the squares. Or, wait, what's going on? Check King D7. Check King, C, King D6. I think I'm very lucky here. A draw is fine for me. Queen C6, G3. G3. I'm going to try it. I don't know if this wins, but I'm. I, it's so meme-y. If I go King E8... Oh, he has rook f5. Wait, this is very tricky. Go here. If I go here, he has here. It feels like a puzzle rush. Oh, shoot, I just blundered. There we go. Two up. That was actually just a draw. I, I mean, whatever. Thank you, Minimal Zen, for the 20. Totally not Bungle. Thank you to Seahorse as well. And Commandant Stone for the Prime. Yeah, that wasn't wonderful, but it worked. I guess it was always a draw there. It was always a draw, I guess. Felt like there should have been some puzzle rush in there, but whatever. Okay, so he does this one. So I'll play here. Go back. Yeah, it really felt like there should have been some way to be much better, but anyway, whatever. Let's just go C3, consolidate. Go here. I can take, I can also play Queen E2. I mean, the point is a draw. Uh, now, like, now draws are more than okay, so I should just be solid, as solid as I can. Let's go, I guess, here. I'm just going to try to flatten the cur flatten the board again. Go here, knight c4. If takes, I have rook b1, and I'm just winning. Goes here, I just go, like, f3, I guess. Not thrilled with this position, but I think it's fine. I can obviously take and go bishop before. I have knight a5 lurking as well. A lot of options. Lot of options here. Thank you to Kamar for the four months. Thank you so much to Kamar. That looks wrong. Um, take. Oh, did I blunder knight a4? Oh, wait. No, no, wait a second. I go here. No, no, I didn't blunder. Wait, what is this? No, no, wait. This is just insane. He's going to get lollied on eight, on g7 here after knight d3. Like, knight d3, bishop f6, and queen h6. You're just getting absolutely crushed. I mean, go here. I mean, it's just game over. He has to play e5, but this isn't going to work out. It's not going to work for him. Yeah, he goes e5, so I take the juicer. Um, actually, he does have knight c2, I just realized. So I guess I just have to grind him down in an end game. But that shouldn't be too hard. Let's just take and go knight g4. A lot of weak square, a lot of weak dark squares around his king. 
A lot of weak squares. Twenty five, I think. I mean, I don't know. This looks crushing to me. Maybe it's not, but twenty two. Okay, queen e5 is probably good. Knight h6 doesn't look right. Knight f6, king g7, queen e5 is also probably winning. Okay, let's go with it. I think this is just winning. No check. I guard. He's getting fossilized every which way. Actually, I should be careful. I shouldn't make the wrong arrows. <laughs> wrong arrows will lead to something else, so I should be careful. Um, but yeah, this, this looks over to me, unless I'm blind. Yeah, they gotta be careful. Don't make those wrong arrows. Okay, but this is just over. I go check and queen h6. And I have g4 if he comes up. And he resigns, and we get the dubs. Three zip, you guys. Three zip. Three zero, and we win very cleanly. Thank you to Cactus Juan for the six months. So very, very good Arena Kings uh, overall. As I look through my result, I think if I'm not mistaken, I had one draw in all of Arena Kings. I think I had one draw. I think I went basically perfect. I won all the all the knockouts, and I drew one game. My one draw was against was it was against Renato, right? That was my one game was against Renato. I drew one game against Renato, but I think I or did I draw a game against Alham too? Maybe I drew two games. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we end up winning. We end up winning Arena Kings very, very happily, and one versus Georg as well. Okay, well, whatever. No losses, a handful of draws, um, and we inflate our rating. My rating is getting very inflated now. It's up to thirty-two fifty-seven, um, which is, of course, the highest I think my rating has been since maybe the peak of COVID last year. I feel like I know I got up to thirty-three thirty-two. Um, I got up to thirty-three thirty-two yesterday, but that is, um, the, but this is the peak. I think so. Pretty, pretty insane stuff. So, yeah. We get the win. We get the win. Buy a house now. Let's do more Sotheby reviews. Not not right now. We're not going to keep doing that. Um, but we have some stuff to do. Uh, rating inflation to go along with the CPI lately. Exactly. How much do I win? I win a whopping $500 um, for this. I won $750 yesterday by winning Title Tuesday. So $1,250. So we're, we're, we're doing very, very well.